Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're gonna learn how to make this really cute flower handbag. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the materials you're gonna need for this. So I'm using four weight yarn for all of mine. Of course, you can use any kind of yarn that you wish and any hook size that you wish. Just remember that your yarn and your hook size is gonna make your project either bigger or smaller. Um, for mine, I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook and you will need a pair of scissors and you will need a darning needle. Um, you also will need a button um, if you wanna do that for this. Of course, you can make a crochet button. You don't have to have a button at all. It's all up to you, but I am gonna show you how to do it, okay? And before we start, I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below so you can get notified of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends, family, crochet groups, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of those wonderful things. And I thank you so much. Okay, so basically I've already got one side completed for this project. We're gonna work on this one, and then you're gonna need one exactly like it for the back side. And then you just basically sew it together. So it's really easy, okay? So you're going to start with a magic circle. So after you make your magic circle, pull tight. Then you're going to chain three. And then you're going to, that counts as a double crochet, and you're going to put 15 double crochets into the circle. So that means counting your chain of three, you're going to have a 16 in total. And now 16, and then you will pull tight and then you will slip stitch to the top of your first chain of three. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we've completed the middle of our flower here. So now we're going to chain four, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna go right into your next available stitch and you're going to put a double crochet. This chain of four that you first did counted as a double crochet chain one. So we've done our double crochet in our next stitch, then we're going to chain one, and do a double crochet in the next. Chain one, do a double crochet in the next. Chain one, do a double crochet in the next. Chain one, do a double crochet in the next. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. Okay, so now we're on our last stitch. Don't forget to do that last chain one there too. Go into this stitch and put a double crochet and then chain one and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of your chain of three. So you did a chain of four, so you're gonna count up one, two, three and go into the third and do a slip stitch, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You should have 16 of these a double crochet chain ones, okay? So now we're going to cut off because we're going to bring in another color. So I'm just going to simply pull through. And now we're gonna bring in our yellow. So I'm gonna go right into any space that I want, but because I wanna work this in as I go, this piece right here, I'm gonna start right up by it so I can work over it as I go, but you don't have to do that. You can work them in at the end. So bring in your color here, just like this, and then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. I don't like where I brought in my color there. I don't like that chain to count, but that's up to you. And then I'm gonna place this on the side as well and work over it. So now I'm going to yarn over, go back into this chain space here, and I'm gonna do another double crochet. Then I'm going to do another double crochet. And then I'm gonna turn it into a puff. So I'm gonna pull out my uh, piece here, my loop. I'm gonna go into my first top of my chain of three there. I'm gonna put my loop back onto my hook and then I'm gonna pull through the first stitch like that. And that's how we're gonna make puffs for this flower. Then I'm going to chain two, and then I'm gonna to go to my next chain space and I'm gonna repeat that again. So I'm gonna go right in and do a double crochet. One, two, 
and three. Pull up my loop, go into my first, top of my first double crochet here, put the loop back on my hook, and pull the loop through that first stitch. Then I'm going to chain two again. Then I'm gonna go into my next chain space and I'm gonna work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull up my loop again so it doesn't come undone. Go into my first uh, double crochet, the top of it, put that loop back on my hook and then pull through. Then chain two again. Go into my next chain space and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull up, go into your first stitch here, the top of your first double crochet, put that loop back onto your hook and then pull through and then chain two again. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. And when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again and I'll show you how to finish. Okay, so we're working on our last um, stitch here. So we're going to chain two. We're gonna go into our chain space here. And again, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Pull up your loop, go into the top of your first double crochet, put this loop back on your hook, and then pull it through, okay? Then you're going to chain two, don't forget to chain two, and then you're going to, right here on the side, you're gonna see where you did that first um, chain of three here. You're going to go right into the top of it, and you're going to make a slip stitch to pull together, just like that, okay? and then you can cut off. And now we're going to introduce another color. So just pull through just like that. And I'm gonna come in right here where this color is, right here in this space right here to bring in my other color so I can work this in as I go, okay? So now I'm gonna bring in my orange and I'm gonna start right in the space above where my little um, scraggler piece of yarn is there. I'm gonna pull in my color and then I'm going to chain three. I'm gonna pull these pieces to the side so I can work over them. And then I'm going to put three more double crochets, this counts as one, into this chain space. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna pull a loop out and we're gonna do another puff. So I'm gonna go right into the top of this first chain of three I did, put this on my loop again onto my hook and pull through. And this time I'm going to chain two again. And then I'm going to go into my next space right here in between these two puffs. And I'm going to put four double crochets. One, two, three, and four pull up a loop, go into my first stitch, top of my first double crochet, put the loop back on my hook and then pull through. Then I'm going to chain two again, go into my next space and work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Pull up a loop, go into the top of my first double crochet, put the loop back on my hook, pull through, and chain two. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around. And when we get close to the end, I will meet up and show you how to finish again. Although you'll finish exactly like you did on the previous row. So this is going to buckle in a little bit. As you can see, it's just causing it to go in. That's okay. It will flatten out a little bit later, but you want it to be 3D if you wanna do it exactly like the purse that I made. It is a little bit 3D there, okay? So just keep working over your scragglers, and then once you work them over, you can cut it off, and then I'll see you in just a second. And now we're here at the last uh, chain space, and I've chained two, so now I'm gonna go right into here and put four double crochets. One, two, 
three. And four. Pull up on your loop, go into your first stitch, put your loop back on your hook and pull through right there. And then you're going to chain two again. Then you're gonna find your chain three space that you started with and you're gonna work right into the top of that and do a slip stitch to pull it all together. Just like this, okay? And as you can see, it's curving in quite a bit. Don't worry about that, very normal. So then you're gonna cut off and now we're gonna turn this into a square. So just pull through. And again, I'm going to bring my color in right where um, this piece is laying over so that I can work into that this in, okay? So I'm just gonna go right into this chain space. I'm gonna bring in my new color working over that little scraggly orange piece of yarn. And then I'll have these both lined up where I can work over them, okay? So now I'm going to chain one, two, three, and four. And that counts as a treble, okay? Then we're going to do an, a treble crochet, wrap around your hook twice, go into this chain space, pull up, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then we're going to do that one more time. Do one more treble. Through two, go through two, go through two. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then you're going to put three more trebles all into the same chain space. One, two, and three. So you're gonna go into this next chain space right here, and you're going to work three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then you're gonna go into your next chain space, and you're gonna work three half double crochets. One, two, three. And then you're gonna go into your next chain space and you're gonna work four, I mean, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then you're gonna go into your next space and you're going to work three treble crochets. One, two, three, then you're going to chain three, and you're going to work three more trebles. Okay, and as you see, we've started our square there. So we're gonna keep repeating that all the way around. So right up here at the top, you're gonna go into this next chain space and you're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next chain space, you're going to work three half double crochets. And in the next chain space, you're going to work three double crochets. And in the next chain space, you're going to start working those trebles again. So you're gonna work three trebles. Just like that. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to work three trebles again. And then you're just gonna continue the same pattern all the way around. So when we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. I'll see you in just a minute. So we're right here on our last stitch here. So we're going to 
just slip stitch right into the top of our first chain of four that we did, which would have been our first treble. So just slip stitch right into there, and now you're done with this round. And as you can see, this is still popping up 3D like, that's what we want. So now we're gonna cut off and we're gonna move on to our blue color, okay? And again, I'm just gonna be working over these as I go. Okay, so now we're gonna start with some half double crochets, um, and then we're gonna work into some single crochets. Uh, this all after this is just basically doing really easy stuff here. So you're just gonna go, I'm gonna go right here so again I can work over this um, sh uh, little bit right here that we need to work into. I'm gonna go right into the top of that and I'm going to bring in my blue color, just like this. And then I'll have both of these over to the side where I can work through them. Okay, and then right into the same spot I just pulled in that color, I'm going to work a half double crochet. Right there. And then I'm gonna go into my next stitch and work a half double crochet. And to my next stitch, I'm gonna work a half double crochet. And now I'm at my corner. So when I get to my corner, I want to make two half double crochets, one and two. Then I want to chain two, and I wanna do two half double crochets. So we wanna keep our corners here on the sides. So to do that, you need a chain space in the middle of that, okay? And so then I'm gonna go across the top, doing half double crochets all the way down. So I'm just gonna put half double crochets all the way down. And then when I get to my next corner, I'm gonna do the same thing I did over here. I'm gonna do two half double crochets, chain two and two half double crochets. So just keep doing that all the way around and when we get close to the end, I'll meet back up with okay, you again. So now we're on our very last stitch. I'm gonna work my last half double crochet right here. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my first half double crochet that we did. It might be a little hard to get into, just pull it to, and then you can cut off. And now we're gonna change into our other color. So we're gonna pull through. Again, I'm gonna start right here where this ended so that I can work this color in, but you can start anywhere you want. And we're gonna start with this pretty maroon and now we're gonna be working in single crochets. So I'm gonna go right into that same space. I'm gonna pull in my yarn, leaving a tail to work in. And then I'm going to do a chain. And then I'm going to go right back into that same spot and work a single crochet. And then I'm going to put a single crochet in every stitch I'm working over my scraggly pieces of yarn here. Okay, and now I'm at my corner. And so when I'm at my corner now that we're doing single crochets, I wanna do one single crochet, then I want to chain two, and then put another single crochet there. And then I would single crochet normally across the top in every stitch, just like this. Okay, and you're gonna do that all the way across the single crochets, and when you get to the corner again, you're gonna do one single crochet, chain two, 
and one more single crochet and just keep doing that all the way around. Now I'm not going to keep going because basically from here on out it's single crochets and I don't want to make this video like an hour long because then it just becomes you know bothersome. But I am going to show you right here what to do. So what you see is is that I keep doing rows of single crochets here. After I do my first row of single crochets with the maroon then I do another one and then I do three rows of single crochets with the same tan color that's in the middle, okay? So, um, and then the other one would, you know, of course, this one will look exactly the same, and then you just sew them together. Now, I am going to quickly show you how to sew these together, just using the side of this, because it's going to be exactly the same, but I do want to show you in case you don't know how to sew them together. Um... What you wanna do basically when you're sewing these together is you just wanna to remember to leave one side open for your purse, okay? So you want the top to be open. All right, so what you would do, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this red part here. You would of course use the color that corresponds with your um, bag. So you're gonna use this brown color and you're going to take your darning needle and if you wanted to, you could just cut off a long piece when you're done with your last one so you don't have to pull another piece in, but it doesn't really matter. So then I'm gonna cut off a long piece of yarn. And on the end of this piece of yarn, I'm going to put a slip knot, just like this. And we're gonna go through this when we pull it together. Okay, so now we're just imagining that this is exactly the same size and you will line these up just like this. Again, you're gonna leave this side open. So you would crochet uh, together all the way down this way, all the way back up and all the way over here, okay? So then what you would do is, is you would line up right here where um, you have your corners. You're gonna line up right there and you're gonna go right through the top here where you have that chain space and you're going to pull through and then you're going to go right through this slip knot that we did and that's going to make a knot there for you to hold it into place really well just like that and then all you're going to do is just go through each stitch just like this going through each v stitch from the top and then over here to the top and you're just gonna do like this all the way down. Just like this, going through both places. But now because this is blue and this is brown, you're able to see, um, see it. But when you do um, the brown parts together, you're not gonna be able to see uh, your stitches very well. Um, on one of mine, I actually used the maroon color to do this um, because I wanted to see my stitches. You're probably going to see that one in my, um, in my thumbnail. So you could use a corresponding color to go around that was in this. I used the maroon and I thought that looked really neat with the dark brown. Um, but if you don't want your stitches to show at all, then just use the same color like this brown color and then this would be brown and then you really wouldn't see anything. But some people like that look, so it's totally up to you. But you would just keep doing that all the way around. So all the way down and around and up and you would just work your corners the same way. You would go into the top of each stitch, okay? And go through till you get to the top and then you would leave the top open, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to do the little button. I'm gonna use this blue yarn here and all you're going to do is make a slip knot. And I want you to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then I want you to go into the second stitch from the hook and I want you to put one single crochet and then into the next stitch, one single crochet 
and into the next stitch put one half double crochet and into the next stitch put one half double crochet into the next stitch put one double crochet into the next stitch put one double crochet and it's this last stitch I want you to put three half double crochets one two and three and then in that same stitch you're going to put a double I want you to chain two and then put a double crochet and then in your next stitch you're going to put an, um, another double crochet and the next stitch you're going to put one half double crochet and the next stitch you're going to put one half double crochet and in the next stitch you're going to put one single crochet and in the next stitch you're going to put one single crochet and now you're up here at the top I want you to slip stitch to close then I want you to chain three four actually chain four go right back into this space right here and work a slip stitch okay then I want you to cut off a long piece so that you could sew this on and just work through just like this okay just like that so turn your work over and now you're going to work this piece in on the back So I'm just going to work it in three times. Okay. And so then these would be together up here. This is your very top right here that would be open. And then this would be sewn on right here into the inside, just like that. And then it would fold over like this. So this, you would sew on using your piece, pull it back up to the top by going back up to the top. And then you would just sew that on right here turn it over that way so you can sew it on through there but for now I'm just gonna pin it okay so I've used just a needle here to hold this in place so I can finish this later um, but right here it would go in the middle like I showed you facing that way so that it can be turned over this way and then I'm using a very small darning needle and some yarn whichever color you want to use and I'm going to place the button exactly where I want the clasp to go over okay so that's where I'm going to put it and then you're just going to sew your button on just like you would if you were sewing it on a pair of pants you're going to leave a little bit in the back so that you can work that in later and then um, you're just going to go through your button the only difference is when you're doing this you're not going to have to go it through it so many times if you were just sewing it because you're using um, yarn instead of thread so it's much sturdier okay so but you still want to go back and forth with your yarn just like this and if you wanted to you could definitely use needle and thread for this as well if you don't have a small darning needle um, uh, 
you know, things like that, okay? So we have the button on, and so now all that you would do is, you would just take this right here, and it would fit right over your button, just like this. And if you have a bigger button, then you can make a longer chain for that. Remember, I chained four for the end of that. You could do bigger if you had a bigger button, and if you had a smaller button, you could make it smaller, okay? So that's what the little clasp looks like going over the top. And then the last thing that we need to do is I want to show you how to make the strap, which is super easy. It's, I'm just gonna use this blue I have, and you would chain 100 to 150, depending how long you want your strap to be. But I'm just going to chain 10 and show you how I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I used two different colors for mine, which you see in the thumbnail, but I'm just gonna use one for this. You can change up the colors if you wish, but I'm gonna go um, into my second uh, chain from the hook, and I'm going to put a half double crochet, and I'm going to half double crochet all the way down, And you could make any handle you wanted for this. You could use a rope instead, anything you want to do. Um, but I'm just gonna go down with these half double crochets. Okay, then I'm going to chain three, and this is when I would have brought in probably my other color. Actually, I'm going to chain four, and then I'm going to go into my next stitch and put a double crochet, and then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to go into my next stitch and put a double crochet, chain one, go into my next stitch, put a double crochet, chain one, go into my next stitch, put a double crochet, and then chain one again, and into my next stitch, put a double crochet, chain one, go into my next stitch, put a double crochet, chain one, and then into my next double crochet, then chain one and then put a double crochet in my last stitch. Of course, you'll have a lot more of these than me, Okay, so then I've double crocheted. Then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to put a half double crochet in each one of these chain spaces. So I'm gonna go right here and put one half double crochet into my next. I'm gonna put one, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then in the top of this last one, or not in the top, in this last one, I'm gonna put one more half double crochet for nine, okay? So that's what you're gonna do for your whole one. It would be exactly the same. It would just be much longer. And that's how I worked my um, handle for my bag. But again, you can do any handle that you want. I just wanted you to show you how I did mine. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or anything, um, you can ask me in the comment section below, below, of course, on YouTube. But if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Gmail. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of those places come visit i really appreciate it and follow me there and um yeah it's nice to see you guys again happy crocheting bye bye